Hello viewers, we'll be going over you guys and you guys. In this video, we will be using the day-by-day -day probability model as our support and resistance gauges. And these models are based on similar trends in the past to the current trend, but not identical. So do keep that in mind. So let's start with you guys on the technical analysis. Today we're down 5.7% on the 1R chart. We are near oversold on the RSI. If we extend that further on the 4R chart, we were approaching to positive MACD, however, we see a divergence in play. If we extend that further on the daily chart, we start to see a convergence, but it's starting to diverge in the meantime, and we have not seen higher highs, but we may encounter lower lows. So if we do head down lower, so let's head to the day-by-day -day probability model. So to the downside, on the extreme case, we have a 8% chance for you guys to fall between negative 17% to negative 34%. So let's just mark negative 17% on downside as our extreme case. So that price movement or possible support level is roughly around, I would say $12.32. So that'll be our first immediate support. And now if we do manage to reverse higher, I do see a possible support. If we head back to the upside, on the extreme case, we have a 17% to the upside, a 17% chance on the standard deviation for you guys to hit higher. And if we move up 17% from where we are right now, that price is roughly around, I would say, it is around $17.40. So it is along the nine day moving average, this blue line. So that will be our first immediate resistance if we do manage to reverse higher. And we see that as also previous support levels. And since we're below support, that now acts as our resistance. So now let's examine DGAS. DGAS is currently up 5.3% on the one hour chart. We're nearing overbought RSI. We approach to positive MACD. And if we extend that further on the 4-hour chart, we were approaching to negative MACD. However, we see a reversal and a convergence. And on the daily chart, we are also now on positive MACD. And we broke up above the 50-day moving average, this yellow line. So now let's mark for resistance for DGAS. So if the gas were to climb higher, we have a 33% chance for, for it to climb between 0 to 22%. So let's mark 22% to the upside. And that price movement is roughly around, I would say, if we move up 22%. So that is around $348. And if we mark that level, we saw that as there were previous resistance level around that range that even dated back to February 28th as well as say March 20th and to the downside for DGAS so we have an extreme case right here a 33% chance for DGAS to fall between negative 44% to negative 67% Again, the sample size is quite small, so it's not statistically significant. Just keep that in mind. And let's just mark 44% to the downside and see where that range is. And if we fall 44% to where 44%, that is roughly around the price of $157. And we see there was previous support around that range as well right near may 5th and we did see a reversal around that range and we reversed higher since then so again these models are now available in the link below and if you enjoy this content feel free to like comment subscribe and thank you for watching